Before the pandemic, sustainability was somewhat a fringe subject in event industry circles. That is no longer the case. Sustainability really is now top of the agenda as the industry comes to terms with its true impact. But that is no bad thing. I've come to Manchester Central, where today the British Small Animal Veterinary Association is in residence. They've just moved their event to Manchester Central on the strength of the venue's sustainability policies. It's the organisers of events like this that the venue is hoping to be able to help as a result of their research that's currently underway. Which will hopefully result in more collaboration, a stronger events industry and of course a firm focus on sustainability. I caught up with the venue's chief executive, Sean Hines. Sean, can you give us a bit of background as to why collaborative research matters? What are we doing at the moment? So this has been a, a key project for us, Martin. You know, we see this as a sort of a, it's a starting point for what's going to become an ongoing conversation. And I think one of the most important conversations that we're going to have in our industry. I mean, it's quite a comprehensive uh, research document. Can you give us any insight on what the questions are? What are we asking? Yeah, so we, we, we tried to break the questions down into, into categories so that people could um, you know, take it step by step. And so the first thing we wanted to know was people's personal view. We then move on to another section, which is around about the organization. So the business that they're working in, the company, um, I don't know, the event, the organizer, the venue that they're working in, what is their perception of their organization's position? What are they seeing from their organization? What are they hearing from their organization? And what do they think maybe is good and what could they perhaps do slightly better? We know that many companies are making great strides already, but, but as an industry and as a sector, and as, as I've said a few times, you know, it's a, we're almost obligated to be the leaders in this because if, if events industry by nature is about leading, setting example, um, and if we're expecting our customers, our delegates, our sponsors, our exhibitors, our clients to, to be at the forefront of it, then we should do exactly the same, which leads us onto the, the, the fourth element of, as a venue, what can we do? So what are we actually hoping to achieve here? Well, we're making sure that this topic is, you know, at the top of the agenda for us. That's, that's what I think needs to happen. And look, we've, we're all about making sure that we set the right example. And there's no better example to set than the right example around climate change and sustainability. Uh, and so for us, you know, this is a fundamental part of how we're going to approach our business going forward. So it sounds like it's going to be a very comprehensive survey indeed and hopefully will provide useful for other event businesses who are about to embark on their own journey towards being net zero. But of course we are here at Manchester Central after all so I wonder why don't we have a look around and learn more about their own sustainability initiatives. Central aims to divert all waste from landfill. All our general waste goes burned to energy, um, our recycling gets recycled and our food waste goes to anaerobic digestion so as, as much as possible we are diverting from landfill. So our sustainability strategy is called our central future and within that we have four pillars so our business, our communities, our people and of course our environment. We set targets and objectives that we hope to achieve both annually and over the next five years say and we really work hard to make sure that those objectives are captured and achieved within the year. This is Manchester's Civic Quarter heat network. Certainly, it's an impressive looking building situated next to Manchester Central itself. The network will help Manchester reach its ambition of being carbon neutral by 2038. Duncan Levitt, technical services project manager at the venue, explains more. Basically, it's a large engine and two large boilers which basically burn sustainable gas, creates electricity which provides it towards any of our iconic buildings, including ourselves. It supplies the town hall, Bridgewater Hall, and uh, it's doing seven buildings, but it's got the capacity to do another seven buildings to extend the network. Executive chef Matt Hagen runs the venue's kitchen. Event catering is one of the most intense areas of focus when it comes to sustainability for event organisers. Here at Manchester Central, there's an emphasis on plant-based food and strict policies on plastic. We try to use as little plastic as possible, all the way from our sandwich supplier, which is outsourced. There is no plastic in any of the products we use. Um, it's a seaweed-based film on all the sandwich containers. In-house, we produce a lot of our own salads, and the lids on those are free from plastic. 
and they're all recyclables where possible. So suppliers we try to use as local as possible, all the way from our meats to butchers to our bakery. Our local bakery is four miles from the venue. Our suppliers for veg, we use local farms as much as possible. Um, a few months ago, I was over at Ashcross Farm, just over near Preston. They supply all our kale, broccoli, purple kales, and a lot of you know, different vegetables from there. It's the best produce, and it also supports the local community. The vegetarian and vegan accreditation is something we've been working for about six to 12 months. We've based our menus a lot, round, a lot more around plant-based items. We've reduced our red meat by about 54% across all our menus and we're able to offer our tray bakes which are homemade in-house and now 50% of those are vegan. Evidently there's a lot going on at Manchester Central. Sustainability is very high on the agenda here. The venue clearly has a desire for continued learning, to understand more, but most importantly to collaborate and to collaborate with other businesses to help the events industry in wider context. So if you want to read the findings of the report, click the link below and hopefully we can all play our part in shaping the future of events.